Hello and uh, welcome again to another episode of Let's Play 100% Orange Juice. In this episode, we'll be attempting QP's campaign, of uh, the final episode. So now we've now that we've uh, tracked down the two popos, we reached our epic conclusion. We're in a different space. This feels so much like a final battle. I really like this feeling of impending calamity. But this place is a bit... a little bit spooky. And unstable. Popo! Popo! Welcome, O oh brave ones. Who is that? The Demon King? Oh ho ho ho! Exactly! I am Tomomo, the great ruler of darkness. What? This is kinda... I can't really put a f this feeling of disappointment into words. I was expecting something more than this. <laughs> I can't sense an ounce of charisma out of you. This is false advertising! You're saying whatever you want! <sighs> Let me set something straight here. I am the one who created this world, and all of you. Wow, now that's something a last boss would say. You're all pawns modeled after people from different worlds. And as the last boss, I show up before you in my full glory. And that's the whole of my plan. What? What kind of plan is that? I don't think you're qualified to be a last boss. Shut up! If you treat me that way, I must show you my power. I, Tomomo, will knock you all down and make you understand how much charisma I have. And so we approach the final battle. Uh, since uh, Tomomo is a very combat oriented character, we're gonna want to stock up on all these defensive cards. Defensive and uh, passive cards. Uh, we really don't want to get in a fight with Tomomo because there's a very high chance we're not going to win. And you see, our final players for this board will be Mari Popo. Yuki, Tomomo, and uh, QP as ourselves. Now, this particular board, which is called uh, Tomomo's Abyss, is very combat-centric. Uh, the field effect is Battlefield, which uh, I believe, if I recall correctly, on the fifth turn, the fifth chapter, uh, the majority of the tiles on the board will become the red combat tiles for, was it, I think, five more turns or something like that? I will see. So we're gonna get into combat immediately, get an easy win off that sentinel. Now, as you can see, Tomo's stats 6 health, 2 attack, 0 defense, and 1 evade. She essentially has no negatives except for what we call the recovery value, and that's uh, the minimum you have to roll when you get knocked out and are checking to revive. And she has a recovery value of 6. So it's very unlikely that Tomomo will be able to revive after the first turn she gets knocked out. But uh, since Tomomo AI has a uh, what I believe to be rigged uh, rolls, uh, she could easily roll many sixes. Now, uh, actually, Yuki got really lucky here and manages to KO Tomomo, but this KO is more or less uh, inconsequential in such an early stage of the game. You can, as you can see, uh, Tomomo actually revived before we did, despite the fact that our recovery value is only 5. And that's just to show how rigged this particular stage is. We finally revive, and now the field effect occurs. So Yuki's gonna fight Mary Popo and manages to dodge the counterattack. Tomo is gonna fight a duck and knocks it out. Now we're actually, we can actually check on the uh, sixth, the sixth chapter the battlefield field effect occurs, 
and as you can see uh, most of the board is now red tiles with the remaining tiles being the purple warp tiles the green draw card tiles and the home lollipop tiles so let's just mosey along now unfortunately we were one star short of leveling up there but uh that's not too big of a deal right now yuki's gonna fight us uh so we're just gonna defend and then hopefully get this counter attack but uh you can manage to evade our weak attack Tomo was gonna fight uh, Mary Popo. Mary Popo takes five damage, and then Tomo evades. Now, uh, Tomo's theme is probably my favorite out of all the character themes, just because of how uh, final boss-ish it sounds, and it really makes this entire uh, episode feel really epic. And the un only unfortunate thing is that. We, the other characters' themes will replace it whenever they level up. Now we're at one health again, so we're in a pretty poor situation. We actually have to roll six to survive, and we roll five, so that's no dice. As, as you can see already, Yuki has seven wins right now. Uh, due to the combat, na combat esque nature of this board. It's actually more favorable to go for wins rather than collecting stars. And that's why, that's probably why Tomomo is such a combat oriented character. And because it fits her uh, special stage uh, naturally. And that's probably another reason why they put Yuki as one of our opponents because Yuki is probably the most combat oriented character. Out of all of them, aside from uh, the broken Tomomo. So I think we're just gonna try to go for the 50% evade. And we do evade. And retaliate for 2 damage. The duck also does 2 damage to Tomomo, so I think we're in a pretty good position to try to knock her out next turn. Uh, we are going to go on the uh, yellow panel because we're going to continue our strategy of playing passively since QP isn't quite the combat oriented character. Yuki revives, so that's pretty bad news. But Tomo actually decides to fight us and roll and her uh, natural rolls of sixes means we're going to have to roll uh, four or higher to survive through defense. And we roll a two, so hopefully we can get this counter attack in. But uh, we only roll one. And you can see I'm not making this stuff up. Uh, this is really rigged, it not in our favor. So that's why we really want to go for these uh, non combat tiles as much as possible. That's uh, the ninth win for Yuki. So she could actually get to level 5 unhindered now. We're gonna move along. We'll have to fight this chicken, but uh, we managed to beat the chicken. Mary Popo is actually gonna fight us. We're gonna evade and then counterattack, deal with two damage, and then uh, I think this chicken might KO Mary Popo. Indeed, it does. Yuki fails to revive. Tomomo sets a trap on where Yuki was, and then draws a card. We're gonna fight again. This time we're not lucky enough to kill the chicken, but we're gonna evade and evade that one damage. Come on, what was going after us? Uh, we'll have to defend this with a two or higher, or a higher than two. Uh, we defend and hopefully we can get a counter attack in. But uh, she evades with a five, so she's safe. We'll continue along. Go this way actually. Since I uh, presume that Tomomo is gonna go the other way. So, probably my best chance of avoiding combat. Avoiding combat with her, I should say. Uh, back to Tomomo's uh, excellent boss battle theme. We're gonna. Uh, we'll probably evade this. And since Tomo reached level 4, the boss appears. Now, I won't be surprised if uh, the boss KO'd uh, Tomo. And indeed it 
does, so that'll put her, set her back for a little bit while we try to collect more stars. Yugi's gonna fight Maripopo, take 4 damage, and then uh, Yugi takes 3 damage in retaliation. We're gonna fight the boss, and this might be the end of our lives here. It is, but better that the boss gets the stars than another character. The boss is also gonna do 2 damage to Maripopo, and Yugi should fight Maripopo, knock out Maripopo. And then uh, the boss will probably knock out Yuki, uh, but Yuki survives with one health. And uh, we see Tomomo reaching level 5 now. Uh, will the set no KO Yuki? It will. That's pretty good. And the Tomo is gonna fight the boss again. Deal one damage to the boss. And take one damage in return. You can actually check uh, if Tomomo is going for the 15 or more enemies, Norma, which she is. So it'll require three more player victories. Or two boss victories. Or six normal victories. Or any kind of combination of those. We're gonna try to finish off the Sentinel. But uh, the Sentinel evades. And we're gonna defend and take three damage. Uh, we were finally gonna land on a lollipop and then become level uh, 2 and then get 30 more stars. Now you notice uh, since uh, someone is level 5 on the stage, uh, it will remain as the final stage music for the rest of the game. This is not our lollipop, so I think we can put this go away trap card here. Then we will warp here because we don't want to fight the boss. Red Popo revives. Yuki lands on a world panel. Someone will get some more stars, but that's not her normal, so. We were very unlucky to trigger the flamethrower trap, which KOs us if we have no cards in our hand. If we had cards in our hand, it would just force us to discard all of them. And you see, Tomobo gets the, uh, gets the boss kill, so. She's really working her way towards that 15 victories normal. Yuki is at 11 victories, but uh, is only level 2 compared to Tomomo's level 5. We find a revive. Yuki battles us with one health. So she's really fe she must be feeling really lucky. Uh, we survive with the health and retaliate for knockout. Uh, Tomomo fails to kill a sentinel, so we're very lucky. Now I know what chat we put down there, and uh, it's pretty unfortunate that uh, we had the option to level up, but couldn't because of our own trap. That's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Tomobo's already at 15 victories, so uh, the next time she'll pass by her own lollipop or uh, land on someone else's lollipop, that'll be her victory. And at this point, there's not much we can really do since we're only level 2. And that'll be her victory! Uh, like I said, I wasn't really expecting to beat Tomomo on my first try. But I don't think I will be attempting another try on this episode. Cause uh, I really don't want the videos to be too long. Now that I figured out that uh, Camtasia has some difficulties processing uh, videos around uh, 25 minutes without having issues like audio desync or uh, black screen issues. So what we're going to do for the rest of the episode is probably just buy some more packs to get more cards. Now as you can see, uh, as you progress through the campaign mode, uh, you'll be able to buy the characters that you've encountered. So I'm just gonna go buy Sora. 
uh, as this QP story, we're just gonna continue using QP for the rest of it. So, what I think we're gonna do is check out our binder. Uh, as you can see, uh, we have 56% cards collected, and 70% of the game progress. So, uh, what I'm really checking is uh, how many of rares I have. We have Sky Restaurant Pures as our only rare, and this comes from the base set and not the expansion. So, what I'm gonna do is buy some expansion cards. I think we'll stop at around 2,000 gold, or stars, and then we'll spend that rest of the money on the base pack. We get Cloud of Seagulls. We are Waru though. Invasion. Heat 300%. Extend, which is a uh, rare, and uh, all rares have this clause that you can only put a maximum of one of them in your deck. And that's just indicative of how powerful these rare cards are. Now, the extend card is a boost stock effect that results in, uh, after suffering KO, you'll revive on the following turn. So, essentially, this is one of the effects of QP's hyper card, but anyone can use this card, so it can be very useful. Get a piggy bank. Invasion again. The third invasion. Oh My Friend, which is a rare. Uh, it's a simple effect of a boss will show up, and this can be a very disruptive card for those who are going for the uh, wins, Norma. Because if you spawn the boss while they're trying to get, uh, say, 9 wins for level 5, then it will really delay their progress because the only easy wins they can get at that point will be from other players. I'm just gonna... Okay, and we'll buy one more. Super all-out mode. And now we're gonna spend the rest of our stars on these, uh, base pack. Uh, you can see there are four rares in the base pack, and we already have Sky Restaurants Pure, so there's three more rares that we can potentially get. Uh, I'm not gonna say every card's name, because at this point you probably see most of them. And we do pull a final battle, and this card's effect is... This battle will last until either unit suffers KO. So... Uh, this is a really good card for the more combat-oriented classes, because it'll f it can force you to go into combat with one of the less combat-oriented classes. Say, like, uh, you are playing a Suguri, and you're good you want to use this card while fighting Mari Popo. You essentially you fight to the death, and uh, characters with bad combat stats will usually lose that exchange. And we're just gonna go through the rest of our pulls. The last one, out of ammo. So unfortunately, uh, we only managed to pull one extra rare, but you can see our cards collected have now increased to 63% due to uh, the cards we pulled. And now we'll have some fresh uh, toys to play with in our next attempt at beating Tomomo. But uh, for now, that'll do it for me. Uh, thanks again for watching the Let's Play of 100% Orange Juice. I hope you will join me again next episode. Uh, Q... Q... <laughs> I was gonna say QP out. I'm playing too much of this game. Castella out.